Ordering the fridge, the stove, and the sink were kind of how we started to play around with the parts and see how it fit. Words of wisdom for being in a relationship while sharing 65 square feet. You don't really ever have a problem with smile or anything like that. Very sexy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alex. Hi, I'm Sean. Come take a tour. Welcome to our kitchen. When we were designing the kitchen, we really wanted to think about kind of the flow of cooking and that was important to us. So ordering the fridge, the stove, and the sink were kind of how we started to play around with the parts and see how it fit. First up, we have our two burner stove. It's got plenty of space to have two things cooking at once, which is nice for us. And we kind of like having it permanent and not having to bring it out every single time. We have our fridge here, which we've liked a lot. It's a Dometic. I don't remember what the size exactly is, but it's got a small freezer, which we've liked. We made sure to leave a two or three inch gap on top of it so that there is that gap there. And then we have a vent on the side of the van so it can release heat that way. Having a big sink was really a priority for us just because we do like to cook. Just having the space to really clean everything and admittedly leave a few things in the sink. In our first cabinet above the sink, we have what we use most. So we have our plates, bowls, coffee utensils, which is very important to us. And then moving to the right, we have a lot of our cooking ingredients. So we have rice, pasta, sauces, Italian seasoning. So moving to the right of the sink, then we have kind of our utensil drawers. Under the sink, we have kind of a little bit of everything. It's like our drunk drawer of the van. Big drawer underneath that's on slides. That is all of our pots and pans. We did get the pots and pans that do not have handles for storage. That's one of the best things that I can say for van life is get that where it connects with a removable handle. So I think it just comes down to what your priorities are in the van of how you lay it out. I've seen plenty of people who have the removable stove tops, but with us both working full time out of the van, we wanna be able to cook quickly as soon as we get into the van at night um, and make dinner and not have to get supplies out and doing all of that. So just trying to make things more convenient and more conducive to our lifestyle. Welcome to our kind of dinette area. So we put in a lagoon mount with a swivel top table that can turn sideways. We kind of, we had it originally mounted on the side here so that we could service all three, um, the two swivel chairs and the seat. But honestly, this got in the way so much of getting into the seat that we just decided to mount it to here. My very sweet aunt made these um, homemade cushions here. So these remove um, just from some fabric from Joann's and pretty comfortable. There's four inch foam. And yeah, we liked the kind of fake leather look to match our handles up here. We have storage below this that holds our laundry, some shoes. Underneath my feet, there is a latch that holds dried goods, extra coffee, things like that. So kind of storage everywhere you look in here. We have our um, all of our electrical panel and some extra electrical supplies up in this cabinet. And then this is kind of our van library that's got all of our books, important documents, kind of things like that. We started looking on Facebook, on Craigslist, um, and at dealerships. And what we were finding were there were a lot of newer vans, but they're high mileage. Um, and so we actually found this one on Craigslist that was in Seattle, had 39,000 miles on it, I think. Mm -hmm. So we bought the van from that owner for 43,000, and then we put about 35 to 40 into the build. So close to 80 to 85,000 total. So I'm a physical therapist and now a travel physical therapist. So every three plus months, I take a new contract. I work with recruiters that um, I will tell them an area I'm looking to go to and then they will give me a list of jobs. And I'm a travel carpenter. Pretty fortunate that I have a nice resume I can pull up to the job site with, <laughs> with our van and showcase my abilities. So that helps me to kind of pick up a job whenever we go someplace. Welcome to our bathroom. So it was really important to us if we were gonna prioritize having a shower, that we weren't trying to either have to sit on the toilet while in the shower or be negotiating standing kind of weird in the shower with it. So we saw someone else do this design, but yeah, just put it on slides and then 
it can get out of the way and then you have the full use of the shower the whole time you're on it. Bought the Separate Tiny. It comes with like its own composting bag. So you can just, um, if you have the right spot, you can throw it away and then the urine jug just pulls out. And then you have a hose that connects out the bottom or that will vent air out the bottom. So we don't really ever have, have a problem with smell or anything like that. Very sexy. We have a 35 gallon fresh water tank um, and a 20 gallon gray water tank, which if we're showering a lot and doing a lot of dishes, it'll last us a week to a week and a half. If we're not showering, then we can probably make the 35 gallons last up to two weeks. Both of us working full time out of the van. Um, this was really important to us. It's also nice to be done with a hike or a big day of climbing and to be able to take a quick shower was a big game changer for us. We decided to really prioritize space with the bed. Um, we had a small weekender van that we used to in a Ford Econoline that the bed was very small. And for someone my size, it was not a problem, but Sean was having to sleep at an angle almost every night. I believe it's maybe two inches short of a queen size or a normal mattress. And then it's actually a little wider than a queen. We installed two windows that were not in here when we bought the van. Um, just really opens up the space, in my opinion, it makes it so bright and kind of makes the van feel a little bit bigger. Even though it's not a true bump out, it kind of feels like a bump out. So here's our closet that we decided to put in. Um, just nice to have. So we have a few things that are nicer that don't get wrinkled and just can hang. Um, also, just some of our sweaters and sweatshirts don't take up so much space in our cabinets up above. We use packing cubes. We also have the back two split into two shelves um, so that it can stay a little bit more organized. We also have two like reading lights at night. We both like to read before bed and it's kind of nice to get all the lights off and just have a soft dimmable light and that also has USB charger in it. So that's nice. I had seen this word Fernway, kind of like another word for wanderlust. And I really like to travel even before meeting Sean and this lifestyle has really allowed us to kind of embrace that and kind of always just is like our motto and mantra for moving forward and keeping up with this life. Alex and I met about four years ago at the climbing gym. Complimented him at the climbing gym and he couldn't um, stop following me around after that. Dating for a couple of months before Alex showed me a van life video. Opted into an Econoline van which we built over the span of four weekends. And then after doing that for two years, we bought the Sprinter and decided what would this look like with doing it full time. Let's talk about power. Um, so when we were thinking about building the van, Sean's our carpenter, he was gonna have a lot on his plate and I kind of felt some responsibility to offer a skill. I am not an electrician, um, but thanks to YouTube, I actually was able to learn so much. There's so much content out there nowadays. I don't know how people did this before that. There are a few videos out there that kind of helped you analyze um, how much power you think we need. So I made a spreadsheet and I just started writing everything out that we knew we wanted in the van. 500 amp hours of Renogy um, lithium ion batteries. We have 400 watts of solar and um, a 3000 watt inverter. Have one scar from building it all out and that is a uh, branding from a um, heat gun and yeah, was just moving around and laid my arm right on top of it. So do not recommend doing that. This is our basement slash garage in our van. Permanent bed fixture, which allows us to jam everything else that we travel with in a giant game of Tetris. Our electrical components all in one clean, isolated box. We have all of our plumbing components in a second clean, isolated box. And then the third box you can see back here is actually our propane storage. We have it isolated inside of its own sealed up box, which then vents outside so that we don't have any worries with contamination or waking up with like a headache or not waking up at all. So. I am a carpenter by trade, so I have all of my tools and all my batteries, and you're gonna have to get into something. You're gonna have to replace a filter. You're gonna have to drain your hot water tank. You're gonna have to maintain your batteries, and you're not gonna wanna have to dismantle your bed, pull apart your, all of your cabinets just to get to your batteries. 
You have to think about getting a tool in there to undo it. You're gonna have to think about tightening up these bolts that hold all these components in place because driving down these bumpy roads, things are gonna get loose, but you're gonna have to do that. So keep in mind that you're constantly maintaining something but by doing that constant maintenance, it allows you to travel and have that freedom that you're kind of looking to explore with. Words of wisdom for being in a relationship while sharing 65 square feet. I would say communication. Uh, everyone will tell you communication, but when you are in such a small space with your significant other, you really do need to make your opinions known. But like there's days where I'm like, it's not worth us being awkward in 65 square feet. So it's actually made me, I think, a lot more patient, which is good. So just do the dishes, <laughs> clean up after your laundry, do these little things so that the other person doesn't have to step on them or trip over them in the middle of the- Make sure your drawers are locked and closed before you drive off. Make sure your drawers are locked and closed, <laughs> that's helpful. <laughs> For me personally, it's feeding my adventurous side, it's feeding my wanderlust kind of into the unknown as much as I can without being overly stressed with what's gonna come tomorrow. Ultimately, the thing that would stop us is maybe having a family or something like that. Is that like... Too much. God, my, my mom might see this. <laughs> <laughs> or van 3.0, that's always in the back. But I think we'll mind. always have a van or some sort of adventure vehicle. This is like something we never want to give up. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to follow us um, on Instagram, our handle is nothing underscore adventured. Um, again, I'm Alex, this is Sean. If you have any PT or carpentry questions, feel free to reach out, um, yeah. Yeah, we just want to say thanks again, Tiny Home Tours. and. All of you watching at home. Bye. Bye. <laughs>